Hi, so today I wanted to try something a little bit more different. Unfortunately, I didn't film the process of this one, but it's something that I'm super proud of. So I guess I'm just going to talk about the process and how I got to the finished piece. About two years back, I fell heavily down a rabbit hole of watching documentaries, basically anything I could find about ancient Egypt. I was super fascinated with this subject. After watching a lot of documentaries, I learned a lot about the gods and their journey to the afterlife. I wanted to paint something up on the wall and started with a draft on paper and then I eventually painted the design onto my wall. Uh, the painting depicts the wearing of the heart test. Anubis was the first one I painted after drawing the design with pencil. Anubis is the god of death. He is also one of the oldest gods and would essentially guide the soul uh, through the underworld and to the wearing of the hearts. Anubis is actually one of my favourite gods. I don't really know why, I just feel like there is something really special about him. Afterwards, I drew and painted Osiris. Osiris is the god of the underworld. After you had passed the test of the weighing of the heart against a feather, you would be admitted to your afterlife and would then meet Osiris. Even though I found Osiris quite hard to draw, I actually found him one of the most interesting ones to actually draw up. I liked all the colours that were depicted in most of the pictures and I tried to add them as much as I could into this drawing while giving it my own style. Uh, I gave him a seat to sit on as well and then I did paint in a pillar next to him as well just to fill in the area that was around him. Next I decided to draw in the scales behind Anubis. I wanted to give them my own style. I was actually super nervous to do these. And then I painted Ba, which is your soul, and then the goddess Ma'at on top of the scales. So Ma'at is the goddess of truth. Uh, it's actually her feather that is used in the test to weigh against the heart. So next I began to add in a background. I did a block background above the scales. At this point I wasn't 100% sure where to take the background but I just wanted to use these three colours and just broaden it up and just give it a little bit of colour to that space. I then got this idea to add in like a more detailed background so I just did it between my art and uh, bar and I just began to fill it in but then I realised that it kind of uh, made things kind of blend together more and not stand out so I kind of discarded it and just kept that little section like that. So Thoth was my next target. He is the god of knowledge and writing. He would record the proceedings of the test. I tried to give each god my own flair uh, to them while keeping them close to how they were drawn a long time ago. Uh, I wasn't 100% sure how to do him, but I was actually super happy with how he turned out in the end. I then went back to the scales and just finished the bottom off, adding in the heart and the feather and trying to bring it more to life. I did think to tell this story of the test, I needed to add in the demon that would devour your heart if you failed, so I drew in the only gap that I had left. She is part crocodile, part lion, part hippo. I wanted her to feel slightly different than the rest of them that were on the wall as well. Then, after I'd added in, in all the gods I wanted, I started to fill in things that I thought the painted would need. So, I added in the box that Thoth would stand on. I also put a pillow down the left hand side to bring it in a little bit more. I added the eye of Ra and the eye of Horus. Deciding then to do them in the style of Tutankhamun's jewellery because he is my favourite pharaoh. I decided in the end to settle for a dark background. I thought this would make everything else stand out more. I put an anchor on the wall as well. Just anything that I thought would fit well. Uh, the whole painting took me about four months to complete. It was my first big wall piece and I was super proud of it. 
So this is the finished piece. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I actually have other uh, wall paintings that I can film like this if you want me to do it, just let me know. Uh, please like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye guys.